Hey guys, I just want to take a minute and uh, make a mouse comparison here to kind of go over the key differences between most of the new mice that are out on the market at the moment. A um, couple different mice here. We have the Death Adder, Death Adder V2 Mini, the original Death Adder here, the Razor Viper Mini, and uh, I do have the... Um, Logitech G Pro Wireless that I just have sitting on my desk. But there's also one more that's really new that I wanted to go over because you don't uh, you don't see it a lot because it's not it's not mainstream. But the HK Gaming Mira S. It's a small version. Uh, looks kind of similar to the Jewel's um, Hadi or Hadi H A T I, but it's a miniature version of that. So let's go over that real quick. A uh, couple different mice here. Start with the. Let me set these aside. Start with the. Death, Death Adder V2 Mini. Great mouse, just like the Death Adder, except not as nice as sensor. Um, the buttons on the mouse are optical. Um, they're all optical, so that's good. Um, between the more expensive Death Adder and the Death Adder Mini V2. And the side buttons are... Hold on a second, let me my mouse over here the side buttons are I would say almost as good almost as good as the original death adder v2 um, very little very little pre-travel none I would say zero pre-travel which is really nice because a lot of these mice have a lot of pre-travel and post-travel, but very, very nice. Um, on the original uh, Death, Adder, Death Adder V2, I would say there's more pre-travel on the original Death Adder V2 than the Mini. Um, keep in mind that the Death Adder V2 has a better sensor, supposedly. Um, when gaming with the V2 Mini, I don't have any problems at all with the sensor. I know it's uh, not quite as good as uh, the top optical sensors from Logitech and Razer, but the V2 Mini doesn't have any problems at all for tracking and like that. I haven't, I haven't noticed anything. If, if if anything, I've noticed that my aim is actually a little bit better. Um, kind of goes to show that even though the sensor isn't quite as good, it's still very good. Doesn't have any problems at all. So. Um, no problems at all with this mouse, um, as far as the sensor is concerned. Let me grab the weight. Go over that real quick here, hold on. It looks like the official weight is 60, 62 grams. Um, which is pretty close to what they say. I think they say 62 or 63, so that's good. Um, all the buttons feel very good. Uh, let me make sure I clean it. Here, I'll show you. Here, listen. They're actually very good. Kind of reminds me of the Razer Viper Ultimate uh, and the Razer Viper, of course. They, they're they very good, very good buttons, especially for the price. $49.99, $49 I think. In fact, you know, I like the buttons better on the V2 Mini than I do the Death, Death Adder V2 Mini than I do the Razer, the Razer uh, Viper Mini. Hmm. Anyway, so uh, to sum it up, build quality is great. Uh, the mouse that I bought was the Chinese version, so it doesn't have the um, textured grips that you can put on there. It does have the Super Glide feet. Kind of like the hyperglides, but uh, great, great cable. Um, 
as you can see here, the cable, okay, again, Death Adder V2 Mini, Death Adder V2, Razor Viper Mini, um, the cables here, as you can see, I would say that the Viper Mini and the Death Adder V2 have the same cable, but it looks as if the Death Adder V2 Mini has a more of a glorious, original glorious model O type cable that is kind of uh, not as tightly woven. It has a kind of a, it needs to be stretched out maybe a little bit here, but uh, not quite as tight, but anyway, it's still very good. So very good. Um, so that's good. The next mouse uh, is the Death Adder V2. It's a larger version, obviously, of the Death Adder V2 Mini. Um, it's been out for quite some time now. I don't have any problem gaming with it, but the the size is quite it's quite large comparatively to the other mice that I use. But let's go over it real quick. The texture is very similar to the V2 Mini Death Adder, but it's more matte, like here. It doesn't show as, um, as much oils from your hands. The buttons are very good, um, especially the, R, uh, the M1 and M2 buttons are very good. The middle scroll wheel, I would say the that the other V2 Mini is a little bit tighter, uh, a little bit harder to press. Definitely a better scroll wheel on the original Death Adder V2 comparative to the Mini. Um, but overall, the feel is very similar, except one is, one is smaller than the other one. But um, side buttons again, I like the buttons on the V2 Mini better than I do the original Death, Death Adder V2. The scroll wheel is better on the Death Adder v2 mini is kind of eh um but uh, the feet are basically the same obviously um so there's that now this one is the viper mini i have the original viper it's in the box it's a very good mouse. The reason why I didn't like it is the side buttons on the original Viper are uh, recessed and I use the side buttons a lot. So it's frustrating to not be able to press the side buttons quickly. So I did want to try the V2, I'm sorry, the um, Viper Mini because the side buttons are um, not as recessed. They stick out more. So I I, I, I do like the side buttons on the, v the uh, Razer Viper Mini, except the the pre-travel is a lot more than say the mini death adder okay so the death adder mini is much better as far as side buttons comparatively to the razor viper mini and comparative to the death adder so the Razer Viper Mini has the same force to press as the Death Adder V2 for the middle scroll wheel. I will say that the scroll wheel on the Death Adder V2 Mini is harder to press again, as I stated before, than the other two mice. So the, Vi the Viper Mini comes with the same skates as the other two. As you can see, they're basically the same. Uh, same cable, optical switch is the same. So side buttons are kind of mushy. Um, kind of mushy. They, they're they okay. I mean, I could use them. Uh, it's not bad, but it's not as good as the other two mice that I've already shown. Uh, a, a mice that I did, uh, a mouse that I do want to go over real quick is something you probably haven't seen a whole lot of is the HK Gaming Mira S is a smaller mouse, kind of about the same size as the Viper Mini and the uh, Death Adder V2 Mini. But anyway, this is something you can pick up on Amazon for like 45, 50 bucks. Um, just kind of a generic mouse, but you know, the sensor is good. I believe it has the uh, 3360 sensor and it's actually, uh, here, let me, let me turn it on real quick. Hold up.
Okay, so it's a small mouse and it has the same shape as the G Pro wireless. I mean, it literally is this, almost the same exact shape and it has great side buttons. It has great M1 and 2 buttons. Uh, let me do the, uh, let me make sure I'm not clicking on the right screen here. Yeah. So the middle button is actually very tactile, very good. I would say, uh, again, the Death Adder V2, the, the larger mouse has the best middle scroll wheel press. So I would say that the, yeah. It has a similar scroll wheel um, to the Death Adder, I'm sorry, the Viper Mini. So it's very good. Requires a moderate amount of force. The side buttons are actually very good. Little to no pre-travel at all. Really good. M1, M2, great. Comes with a somewhat, uh, looks like pretty good mouse skates on here. They are rounded, it feels like. So that's good. Uh, pretty generic mouse. Um, let me go over the weights again. So we know the uh, Death Adder V2 Mini is 62. And it looks like the Death Adder V2 is 84 grams. The Viper Mini comes in at 58 grams. Okay. The Mira S by HK Gaming comes in at 64 grams. And just because I have the um, G Pro Wireless sitting here, comes in at 77 grams. I already knew that because I've been weighing that for a while now. So anyway, so there's that. So I'm gonna rank these mice in order of primary buttons. So the primary buttons on the Death Adder V2, definitely better than anything here. Next in line, I have the Death Adder V2 Mini. It's very similar to the Mini, Viper Mini but I like the sound better in the, with the, uh, the, the Death Adder Mini because it just has a more, I don't know, better sound. I don't know, anyway, they're both very good though. So what, what you need to know from this is basically that the Razer mice here all have optical M1 and M2 buttons. So it's Razer's new uh, switch. So they're all very similar. I do, I do seem to think that the Death Adder V2 does sound a little bit, a little bit nicer, but they're all very good. So anything from Razer right now, that's their top end or their mini mice are really good right now. I, I don't know. Razer's kind of stepping up here, but, uh, the Mira S is very good. It's a classic, classic type feel, classic, um, switch. It, it, it feels like, uh, you know, after you use these optical switches from Razer, it, going back to like a an old like a mechanical switch like this, it seems like I don't know. It seems like you're taking a step back, to be quite honest with you. But the Logitech G Pro here is getting kind of old. It's been around for a long time, so I mean, I would say Logitech has always been good. Um, the only problem I've had with them is the double click issue after. Your, so many million presses, it begins to double click, but Logitech's been good to replace any of the mice that I've had. But anyway, so Razer's new lineup, the mouse um, that I would choose to use is the Dead Adder V2 Mini because I just like the shape. And when I originally purchased this, I actually bought it from uh, Ally Express, and I had it uh, shipped in from China because apparently it was available there before it was available in the United States. So I ended up getting a little bit early here, and then a couple weeks later, all of a sudden it pops up on the U.S. website. So, but I don't have those grippies. Uh, but hey, whatever. Um, so I would choose this mouse before any of these mice. This is actually my new favorite mouse, uh, even with the uh, lower end sensor. Still my my new favorite. 
Um, but the side buttons, I would say, in ranked order from best to worst, I would say, uh, the Viper Mini is definitely the last place one. I'm going to say the V2, Death Adder V2 Mini, the Death, Death Adder V2, the Mira S, HK Gaming, again, cheap mouse, kind of like these mini mice here, you know, what, like 40, 50 bucks. Um, great mouse. Good shape, honestly. Um, but so that then uh, the uh, Viper Mini definitely in last place because it is uh, the side buttons just have too much pre travel. I mean, here let me see if I can get this one here on the on audio one second. Listen. Let me press it. You can actually hear the pre-travel. Now let me use the other. Let me uh, grab the other mice. Here, listen to this. So you can tell there's no pre-travel there hardly at all. And then here's the original Death Adder V2. Now, let me go back to the, the uh, Razor Viper so you get the idea. I mean, you could, it just it just sounds slower. And for for whatever reason, I'm only, this is the Mirror S, it's HK Gaming. So, pretty good, so. Anyway, I guess I can do the uh, G Pro wireless because why not? All the side buttons here are good on all these mice except for the Razer Viper Mini. I would say uh, it's moderately good, but not uh, not the best I've I've used. But for thirty nine ninety nine or whatever it is now, uh, forty bucks, not too bad. Anyway, if you have any questions, you guys can uh, leave some messages in the comments and I'll be able to answer it. But pretty much, if you, if you have any questions about any other mice or uh, mouse pads or keyboards, I pretty much have all the keyboards and mice and mouse pads. So I can answer any questions you have. Uh, this is just currently what I'm using, uh, what's in front of me. Uh, I did grab this HK Gaming mouse out of the package because I wanted to kind of compare it to the rest of these mice. but Again, V2 Mini, Death Adder, Death Adder V2, Mira S, Viper Mini. These are in the order that I would use them. I do have the old Logitech G Pro on standby, G Pro Wireless, because, I mean, it's a classic. I mean, let's face it. It was uh, basically the lightest wireless mouse for years. And uh, now the Viper Ultimate has taken its place. But again... The Viper and the Viper Ultimate both have recessed side buttons that cannot be pressed quickly enough for me. Uh, they don't they don't stick out enough. So, but anyway, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and I'll be able to answer them. Appreciate you guys watching. Like and subscribe if, if you can. Thank you.